How's everyone? Oh, there it is. How's everyone doing today? Good, man. Awesome. Sensational. We're good, but that's what we're supposed to ask you. So how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing sensationally. I appreciate you asking me that question. Uh, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? It's fight week. It's fight week. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just really, I'm stoked for this one. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a really, really fun fight. We're in a really fun spot on the card. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready to go. So what excites you the most about this fight? Is it the opponent, the location, the fact that you're co-main? What's, or is it all just combined? Um, mainly the opponent, you know, um, you know, I think he's really underrated, you know, I think, um, he's very, very dangerous, very, very tough. And, um, you know, he's a good person for me to showcase my skills against, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, you know, since I've gotten to the UFC, a lot of areas I've improved in a lot of places I've gotten better since the last fight. There's a lot of places I've gotten better and improved in and, you know, someone this tough, someone this good, really gives me a chance to show everyone how much better I've gotten. He told us that he's been uh, wanting to fight you for a couple years, that he's never called you out, but that it, you've always been on his radar. Did you know that? No, I don't care. <laughs> that don't matter to me. You know what I mean? Because, um, you know, I'm still going to whoop him regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to fight me. You know what I mean? That don't make a difference. I'm going to whoop him. Either way, he wants to fight me. He doesn't want to fight me. Once we start going at it on Saturday night, he's going to realize he doesn't want to be in there with me. So, you know, cool. Cool. I'm happy that uh, he got the fight he wanted. That's awesome. Good for him. What did you think when you got the name? <clears throat> what did you think about the matchup between the two of you? Um, well, I was familiar with him from just doing tape study on AJ, you know, and um, it was... I mean, it was just like another person, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you want to fight on, 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 you know, it's like, okay, yeah, sure. Like, it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like a say yes, check stuff, uh, check uh, the stats later kind of guy. And, um, you know, it's not like he's like a, a really big name. So it's not like I was like, real. it wasn't like I was asking to fight him. You know what I'm saying? It was just someone who was offered to me. And um, it didn't really matter who was offered to me. I would have been like, yeah, and I would have been excited for the fight regardless. Now, after going back and watching his tape more, you know what I'm saying, studying him more, um, you know, the ability that he has, it does really, really pump me up. So I'm excited about it now, but, it, you know, when they gave me the name, it was just another name, you know what I mean? What sort of fight are you expecting from him? The type of fight he always does you know what I'm saying fast explosive guy you know what I'm saying very clean technical striking uh I'm expecting more wrestling out of him you know what I'm saying they're talking about the people that he's training with you know you can see over the course of his fight since he's been in the UFC he's shooting more and more and more so um especially after I touch him a couple of times I'm expecting some shots out of him so I'm expecting a high pace fight you know what I mean I'm sure he's going to try to push the pace I'm going to try to push the pace uh, we're just going to see, uh, turn, turn the heat up and see who melts first. You know what I mean? I know you don't want to look too pa past your opponent, but have you looked at this year and kind of game planned how you want, how you see the rest of this year playing out for you? Not at all. Not at all. Like, I mean, always just ideally I would like to fight three times every year. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of hard to make happen, but you know, um, no, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's, this this is it right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like this fight is the most important fight of my life. So it's like I haven't really thought too much about what happens after this fight. You know what I mean? You have a new baby, correct? Yes, ma'am. Has it been difficult to um, have training and a newborn in the house? Um, well, yeah, for sure, for sure. But um, big shout out to uh, my wife and uh, my family. We're, we're fortunate that we live close to our family. So, you know, they've been able to uh, lighten the burden a little bit. And uh, my wife's just been a real big gangster over the course of, you know, cause it's been basically like the last month. So like the toughest stretch of fight camp, you know? And so she's just uh, picked up a lot of slack um, and really helped me do what I need to do to get ready for war on Saturday. So if you get that bonus, you can just spend it on the baby or the mom. Um, or yourself, I guess. Uh, both. 
all the above. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, you know, once again, you know, it's like I haven't even really put that much thought into, you know, what I'm going to do with what after the fight, you know what I'm saying? All that matters right now is Saturday night, is on. you know what I'm saying? That's all that I'm thinking about. That's all that, you know what I'm saying? In my head, if you just see me sitting there in silence, I'm thinking about this fight and how, what I'm going to do to this man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know what I mean? If I get the bonus, then, um, you know, ask me after the fight. After the fight, I'll probably, you know, have a better answer for you. Thank you. My man, thanks for taking the time. Oh, thank, thank you for being here. Thank yes, you for sir. talking to me. No, of course, of course. I, right out the gate, I love that you kept that look. The last time you explained to us, I think, was it your sisters that dyed your hair for you? Yes, sir. But you're going to keep that going and make them happy? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a vibe right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm killing people. You know what I mean? And um, it, it is kind of, you know, um, I think your appearance, you know what I'm saying, says something. If, if, if you get to it, get into it like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, as soon as I, cause I don't always have my hair dyed, you know what I'm saying? And as soon as I get the hair dyed, that's when the butcher starts coming out. You know what I'm saying? That's like, it's just, that's when the flip starts switching. You know what I mean? Um, when I gotta be a regular guy, you won't see my hair like it is right now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, it just kind of helps me go through my process and, you know, uh, let that, the monster that's inside of me out that can't be, you know, roaming the streets normally, you know what I'm saying? That's awesome, man. And how fun is it that it's all coming together here at Apex? Because you called yourself the Apex Predator, so this is kind of like a home field advantage now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, if you count my uh, tough fights, which I do, you know what I'm saying, those were against professionals, you know what I'm saying, I have more wins in the Apex than anyone else, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to add to the add to the list on Saturday. Uh, what I will say, though, is I, I am ready to fight in front of big crowds again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, not only am I ready, the, the people are ready. You know what I'm saying? When it got announced that I was fighting in the Apex, you know, you go look at the comments underneath. People are like, ah, man, dude, why, why is he still fighting in the... I want to watch The Butcher. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, people are disappointed. You know, people want to fly out all the time. People are like, oh, I want to go see your fight. I want to go see your fight. I want to go see your fight. You know what I'm saying? I got to be in a place where the people can see me. You know what I mean? So... That's another thing about this fight. I have to make a statement and show them that, you know, I'm that kind of person. I can put butts in seats, you know what I'm saying? I can get views, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you got to put me in a primetime position because I'm a primetime player, you know what I mean? Oh, I, I, I feel that. That's awesome. What better way to do it than as a co-main event? Absolutely, absolutely. No, I, I mean, that's, that's just it's, – it's dope, you know what I'm saying? It's like that slow, pro, like, progress, you know what I'm saying, undercard. Then you get main card, you know what I'm saying, co-main event. And so it's just like continuing that build, continuing the work, taking it one step at a time, you know what I mean, until we get to the the ultimate goal, which is being at the top of the division. So, no, it's definitely it, – it was really cool seeing that, you know what I mean? Because it was it was like um, – like, I think the highest I've been up on the card before this, maybe it was AJ, but it was like the tough finale. But, you know, I was I was on that spot in the card because I was a tough finalist, you know what I mean? And now, now being here, it feels like I really earned it. You know what I'm saying? I'm really a viable co-main event, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's really cool. That's awesome, man. It lasts for me, so I already have it written down. I don't have to try to guess. What Benny the Butcher track are we walking out to? Um, I'll, I'll be honest. We're not walking out to uh, Benny this time. I listen to a lot of Benny. I love Benny. You know what I'm saying? He's uh, uh, been listening to his, uh, his new album just dropped not too long ago. I've been listening to a lot of Benny the Butcher. Uh, I'm walking out to Man of the Year uh, by Schoolboy Q this time, though. Yes, sir. Man, that's perfect. That would be even more uh, awesome for an arena. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, good luck on Saturday. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you.